and we are ready to get underway. The players drew for who will be performing when in the first round yesterday. And the draws are Steve Kerr and Nick Anderson to go first. And down on my left will be Steve Kerr when we come back to the court. You see the all-time leader. And on the right will be Nick Anderson, the Magic's Orlando Magic all-time leading scorer. And so Hubie Brown will be following Steve Kerr and counting his number here. Doug will take a look at Nick Anderson, and you'll hear Charles in here whenever he's ready. Well, I think it's interesting. Steve Kerr is going to go from left to right, and Nick Anderson right to left. So already a little strategy there to get started. The main thing now is, is you don't want to drift on your shot. You want to be able to keep your eye on the rim as you reach for the ball. Big thing, follow through. Nick Anderson off to a real good start. QB, he's hit his first three. Uh, Making his first four. Kerr's one for four. Missed the money ball, so four out of five for Nick Anderson. This is his first one. Now Kerr is a little bit warm right now. He just hit three in a row. One in a row. One out of five that time for Nick Anderson. Five for five for Kerr. Remember, he's the number one shooter in the league at 50%. Five for five for Nick Anderson in the last track. What Steve Kerr misses, he's to the right. The right of the rim. Nick Anderson getting a little flat on his shot, getting tired. He shoots the jump shot, only one out of five in that rack. Still has plenty of time. He has almost 15 seconds here. Looks like he's fatiguing, QB. His shot has gotten very flat. Yeah, Steve Kerr, or long to the right. Missed his left, made uh, Nick Anderson made one of his last 10 shots. Now you can see definite fatigue also at this end with Steve Kerr. Looks like he was rushing a little more tonight. Unofficially, Kerr had 13 points and Anderson 12 that's unofficially in the first round remember this is not head-to-head -head competition they shoot two at a time there they are Kerr with 13 Anderson 12 the top four of these eight will advance and Anderson missed nine of his last ten shots you Charles know, Charles one question do you feel like with the line closer that you see guys shooting more jump shots from this line than they did in the past competitions where they shot more set shots, you think that's going to be a factor? Well, I think the difference is, is uh, the shorter distance make it easier to jump. And uh, it's not a long shot, and you can, I don't think you'll get fatigued as fast, but those two guys definitely seem like they were rushing. Yes, they were. Our next two are going to be, as you're taking a look at Nick Anderson here, who missed nine of his last time, ten, are going to be one young man who's really lighting it up from three-point range with Philadelphia this year, Dana Barros, and he'll be shooting at the same time as Scotty Burrell.